Debbie, oh my god, is that the same uniform? I had it dry cleaned. How many times? Uh, once. I mean, Dave does good work, you'd be surprised. You you went to Dave? Or where else am I gonna you go? You took an Orochi uniform to Conspiracy Dave? Surprisingly, he didn't seem to notice. I mean, it's not that surprising. Okay, well, let's... You know, he is a good cleaner. I mean, that is that is most of why we keep him around. Yeah, so, I mean, I decided... Why would I Why would I turn down a snazzy uniform like this? Just don't wear that around the office. You are aware that social networking sites have been strictly forbidden. Our sponsors in the group were not amused to have employees twittering they'd leapfrog the Human Genome Project. That wasn't even us. It was some plethron guy. Anyway, it's only Facebook and Flickr. Just keeping up with Brad. Boyfriend? Ex-fiancé. We had to call it off when I took this job. It was for the best. For both of us. He has two kids now, you know? Cute kids. <clears throat> I guess it's a little stalkerish, but it helps me appreciate the road not taken. That could have been me. A stay-at-home mom. TMD, Radcliffe. Disclosure. Too much. <laughs> and that's how I ended up here, elbow deep in Scandinavian monster guts. I couldn't comment on rumor or speculation over the group's activities. One, Ms. Radcliffe and I only represent a subsidiary. Two, I have undergone considerable media training. What I can discuss is that there's no side agenda, no conspiracy. That sort of sensationalism is more your controller style. Our really? deployment was standard With operating the procedure in the event of an occult emergency. Ideally, we could have isolated and contained without anyone registering that we were here, provided that they overlooked the primary blockades, corporate security detail, the air support. Not my call, for the record. The priority is now for us to work together, but separately, towards a satisfactory conclusion for all parties. Finger pointing will get us nowhere at this advanced stage of contagion. Oh, yeah, I better talk to her before I go. Yeah. So, have you ever seen them letting off a bomb? You might, in the you might not get another chance. Experimental weaponized organics. Two. Aren't you a little puritanical for the firing range? Excuse yeah, I gotta wait for me. Them to talk, stop I grew talking. I'm on a farm 20 miles out of Spokane. I named my rifle before I named my pony. We get it, guys. Off the bridge you go here. in that van to fuck. There's so much about you that wasn't detailed in your profiling. You know that? Uh. Yes. Weaponized organic could lacerate white hot fractals into this oh, Tell me they're not. The corner. And you'd only know what happened on a 250,000 frames per second playback. Uh, you were in that van earlier. I'd love to be part of an ancient secret society. I'm sure you guys have access to some amazing stuff like libraries and artifacts and then. Okay, yeah, I'm geeking out a bit. But come on, I grew up reading about this stuff. It's like all my childhood fantasies suddenly coming true. Superheroes, secret societies, creepy crawlies, magic. Yeah, me too. It ain't all it's cracked out to be, sister. No, it ain't. If my mom only knew, she would feel so bad about trying to get me to be normal. My mom doesn't know anything at all. Yeah, Dee Dufresne, skater for life. I think I know that guy. Yeah, I think we heard. Oh the... yeah, he's the one who left the uh, the phone. Oh yeah. Wait, what is it? What is his RC plane doing up here? Why does it have a? Why does it have a camera on it? Yeah, doesn't he know the drones or anything? Oh right, it's 2012. I keep forgetting. Oh my God, how? You forget that like back in 2012 there were no drones. I know, right? That's so. See, see, see that that th that one thing there is proof, if nothing else, that this is 2012. I know, right? Quick, quick, let's ask them how they like the Thor movies. <laughs> That's a very recent reference. Oh, wow! Oh my, he's been busy. It, it is skate or die out here, apparently. Wow. This really is Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Wow. 
Wait, so how did one kid set all this up? How, where did he get all this stuff? Where did he get razor wire? And bear traps? And, and a, a fucking industrial generator. Oh, well, those are everywhere around here. I mean, I guess, yeah. But jeez. He's made this in a barricade. This kid has planned for this. This kid is fucking rad, is what he is. The League's no girls policy was changed this summer of Nika Vasquez. Nine times she asked for membership and was denied with jeers and spitballs. The tenth time she showed up at the treehouse, demonstrating an erudite knowledge of comic book lore and throwing a severed finger, too long to be human, at the feet of the gaping boys. Generations later, in the League of Monster Slayers remembers... They pass on their stories mouth to mouth and in secret notebooks. Every inexplicable incident gets scribbled in. Danny Dufresne leads the current league, but the fog came and the other members disappeared. Danny remains the last monster slayer of Kingsman. That's sad. Oh, man. I mean, normally kids like that are the first line of defense against monster attacks. What? Trust me, they have, like, a, most of the time they have, like, they figure things out before anyone else does. They have kind of, like, a natural... I don't know what it is. Maybe they just adapt, or maybe they just brains haven't grown rigid yet. Could be. Let's talk to him. Guess I come across pretty hyped up about all this. It's not that I'm enjoying it, you know. I'm not one of those Norwegian black metal guys. I don't, like, get off on death. But it feels like all my life I've been waiting for this to happen. I read the books, watched the movies, played the games, buried a survival kit in the backyard. Now this is happening, it's really happening. The freaking zombie apocalypse. And people are freaking out. So I can really do something. I can help make things okay again. Well, not like you. This is like your day job. Saving the world and stuff. Well, I guess it is Putting now. your life on the line and needs of others before your own, right? Right? Right. You could work on your outfit a bit, though. Right. I'm just saying, it's a bit weak for a superhero. I could, like, show you some sketches after we've gone through this. I'm thinking this mask, sketch me. black leather, no cape. Capes are hey, so wait, Okay, this is black leather, alright? I mean, still, though, it is very kind of like... X-Men movies. You know, back when they were still embarrassed to be doing superhero stories. Yeah. Another thing that fits in better with, with 2012. Awesome. I knew it. First the zombies rise from the dead, then they send in the men in black, and then the guys with superpowers show up. This is totally like the August issue of Katana Guy and Headphones Girl. You know, the one in Antarctica with the tentacles and mutant Nazi zombies. I am so psyched Quite to Quite help you. confirmed. <laughs> Can you, like, fly? We could really use some superhero action in this town. I mean, what? it's a I zombie apocalypse. Count. You'd think with all the hours I put into Left 4 Dead, they'd let me carry a gun. But I just get the runaround. You're only 15. Yeah. I'm also like the last man standing, not counting Andy or Moose or Henry or Edgar. A anyway, it's not like I'm accidentally going to shoot anyone. Living. Um. This sheriff doesn't even believe I saw the MIBs roll up in their black vans with no license plates. I used my RC plane with a wireless webcam, got a bird's eye view of the action. They're packing some sweet tech. Real made in Area 51 stuff. The good thing they're on our side. <laughs> um, they are on our side, right? Uh... Yeah, I figured they would be, since they're hurting up the mutant Smurfs. You know the drug? <laughs> and probably experimenting on them. Think alien autopsy footage in front of a live studio audience. That'd be really Can't neat. Can't stop nicknaming things. Totally we're not very good at it, of course. I just can't believe this kid still thinks anything goes on in Area 51. I mean, come on. 
cleared that out. Everything's in Area 51A now. Oh. Where's Area 51A? I am not allowed to disclose what state it's in. It's still in Nevada, isn't it? I'm not allowed to disclose that. Let's see what's on this camera. I don't talk to you. Oh, it looks like he was scouting that Orochi camp. That was good thinking, checking the phone's camera for information. Unfortunately, the EMP that brought the phone down fried out the camera's images. Keep searching. Ciao! Oh, hello! And this... Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, God, he's like 14, I right? think. She's like... She's like... Eight. She's, you know, 18. Yeah, let's let's go with 18. At least I hope she's 18. Yeah. That, that is a very strong girl. Oh, more crows. God, there's always... Well, I mean... You know, you would see a lot of crows in a zombie apocalypse, kind of think of it, though. I mean... It, it, like, a zombie is basically like a taco truck for, you know, a, a, a bird like that. Actually, there's something like that in a... Never mind. It's a pretty big of a tangent, even for me. Wait, what? I was going to say there's something like that in a recent Magic the Gathering set. Is that the one with, like, the pirates? No, no, that was one of the... That was one in Egypt. Oh, God, Egypt. Every... All kinds of fucking dark magic in Egypt. Uh, that's so cliche. I know, right? I mean... I mean, the only thing worse than that is, like, fucking Transylvania. Hope I never go there. I know, right? It's all touristy now. Orochi Field Terminal. My wife! My wife! Is that a reference to something? I don't know what that's a reference My to. My wife, who? I think it's just one of those things that's like existed for so long that everyone forgets the reference. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, no, that was Borat! Yeah, Borat did that. Emily Chan? It's me, hi, a. Oh, that is. Oh, that's a fake uh, name. Seriously, yeah, seriously, it's just like. <laughs> that's like fucking Excalibur Harley Davidson. <laughs> I don't know, like... I I can't think of something that ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Can you look up those two? Yeah, go back. Go back to that guy. I mean, it could be her wife. Okay, good, ch good point. Let me see if I can find the employee directory. God, what did... Oh, wow. They're not... They're using... They're using, like... QR codes that are full. Okay, I mean, that is kind of impressive in its, like, pointlessness. But I like that, right. I, I like that, 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 they're, that they're using QR codes and stuff, but they also have to have the same information just printed on the card. Because not everyone has those QR codes in it. Thor Excalibur. There we go. Isn't like a Hayabusa, like, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Is it also a ninja? Okay. I was thinking, like, the motor, like, the like the bikes. Oh, well, yeah, got a new thing. Remember I did those rockets before, and now I can make them, like, full explode. Oh, damn. 
All that from just a shotgun. Yep, from a shotgun. Oh, here it is. I was able to hack into their employee network mainframe and no, I'm just, I'm doing, yeah, I'm just fucking, I'm just, their website. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, it's, it's like right on their website. I didn't even need to, go, I didn't even need to go into, you know, into the employee finder that I totally could just do right now. But I just look yeah. at, oh, it, it's, a, it's, it's right here. Kits, uh, Kitsune Hayabusa uh, is probably, is, is that his real name? Well, it's what he's going under. <sighs> Apparently his wife's name is Sally, so let's try that. Then we'll look for... Then we'll see if we can find Emily Chan's wife. I should not be sounding so chipper. These people are dead. Oh, oh my god. I know. Then again, though, I mean, they... Oh, well, that was easy. But, like, from our perspective, they've been dead for years, haven't they? Oh, I don't need to... Just... just... Stop, I'm so, trying not to think about the temporal mechanics of this. Sorry. Okay, so what were they doing here? Could you read it out? In case of emergency, each component has an individual signature on your tracker. Do not leave advanced occult technology behind in the field. Comma, Assembly C D comma, Emily. Yes. <laughs> Engage PK Pulse Unit. Affix manifest agitator to PK pulse unit. Affix etheric transponder antenna to manifest agitator. Assume minimum safe distance before power up. So it's a simple in reverse order to avoid etheric spikes, possible unwanted attention. Is it, um, isn't PK pulse from Earthbound? Psychokinetic, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, that makes sense. PK Thunder! Public access inventory updated. Radar module activated. So, let's see. Let me find this device. So, what are they actually doing here? Looks like setting up some kind of beacon. I mean, I know what they were... I can tell what they were doing here, but... What were they doing here? You know what I mean? I mean, the Orochi... It's, it's hard to tell um, what they're doing. Some oh, kind of... They call it an occult attractor. Maybe it's a lure. Maybe... Debbie? Yes? Don't get too close to that thing. Item located. I think I should probably disable it. Yeah. Okay, so disassemble and record in reverse order. How's this? Oh, okay, let's just use a control panel. That's easier. Oh, fucking course. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I have the instructions here. You need to grab the etheric transponder antenna. I think that's it. So the EKT transmitter antenna? Wait. I can't tell if that worked or not. Okay, what's next? Next, the manifest agitator. Not. Uh, manifest agitator. There we go. Yeah, I used to play bass for a punk band called Manifest Agitator. And what's next? Next is the PK Pulse Unit. Uh, PK. Oh shit! Uh. Yeah, tech support. What was that bit? Tech support is always a pain. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's the keyboard on top. PK accumulation. No, no, not that. Oh sh! Something just happened. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, hey, hey, hey.
Okay, run that by me again. Okay. The etheric transponder antenna. Okay, etheric transponder antenna. What? There it is. Okay, the, next. The manifest agitator. Okay. And then the PK pulse unit. Which I think is on is the green thing on the top. There we go. All just all deactivated. Good. This is a big moment you for you. You should always remember your first industrial espionage. I forward the data on this tracker thing to our tech guys. They'll be earning their pizza money tonight. In a hypothetical situation where Orochi had warehouses full of these around the world, and they were to suddenly remotely activate, well, you'd hypothetically be a key enabler. Or a key liability. My advice, keep it on the down low for now. The important learning for you is that we don't do free cleanups for other people's messes. Bottom line, there's always a payback. KG. Don't, don't do that, please. KG, don't, at, at least don't tell us what you're going to do with it. I think she just plans to blackmail, hopefully. Blackmail's, blackmail is, in this context, blackmail is not such a dirty word. <laughs> 